What's it like when you drive by the store? I think of all those days that I used to stand out in line hoping to get on on open mic night. And I can't believe I've known you all these years. I've never asked you. What was your first audition like for uh, Mitzi Shore? I was at the Westwood Comedy Store and um, I was late. You were late for your audition? I was late, but I parked in the alley and I jumped over the wall and I was wearing a suit. I don't even know why I was wearing a suit because I just saw guys on TV that wore suits. I figured for my audition, I jacket and a tie and, and I ripped my pants from the knee all the way down. Of course you did, down. of course you did. And I just said, I'm going on anyway. And I just got very lucky because the crowd liked me and it was the right time spot and I killed. While you were killing on stage, were you thinking like, I'm getting past or don't fuck this up? I just couldn't believe I was killing. I was finally out there, I'd come all the way from Detroit Drove out there, I was 18 years old, and Mitzi calls me over. She goes, you are really funny. You can come back, you can be a regular, but I don't like the ripped hole in the suit thing. It, I, I don't like that. <laughs> Lose that. <laughs> she, she thought, thought that it, was a bit. Yeah, she thought it was like my hook. The kid with the ripped suit with the suit. Do you realize suit. how lucky you are that she didn't like it? Cause yeah. she would be, every night you go on stage, exactly. you wear that. Oh man, I've been stuck with that. <laughs> Call you Mikey Rip Pants. Yeah. That's what she would have. <laughs> I auditioned for Mitzi on a Monday night, and she stood right there, and she was judge and jury, and she didn't give a fuck if you were the funniest guy in Houston. That didn't matter to her. She, she didn't reach a resume. Anybody from Bill Burr to Richard Pryor to you and to me and to Jim Carrey had one path into entertaining. One woman. Mitzi Shore to make those decisions. I don't <laughs> give advice, Arsenio. Oh, I don't really tell don't. me that. I no, saw you I tell don't. a girl to put on a green wig and she'd be funnier. Oh, that was different. <laughs> <laughs> the wonderful advice of Mitzi Shore. Mitzi told me I was too pretty to be funny and there is no way in hell that uh, I could be a stand-up comedian. My grandma taught me a lot though. She taught me how to value myself as a woman. I'll never forget it was my 18th birthday. She should have told me this on my 16th birthday though, because at that point I had started renting out the property already. <laughs> she had her little weird ways, like putting me with Joey Kamen in a group, Salt and Pepper. You're gonna be salt and he's gonna be pepper. It's gonna be so funny. And it's like he was getting all the laughs and she would be in the back of the room laughing and giving us spots. We'd get three spots a night. And then I told us that that's the first time I got thrown out of the comedy store. I'm not gonna do this no more. I didn't come out here to be pepper. I'm not gonna do it. I can't do it. I remember Jack Grayman. Mm -hmm. She told him, you need to wear an all yellow suit and you need to dye your hair yellow and change your name to Jackie Banana. <laughs> ah! Did he do it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>